Hey guys, and welcome to my Nick's Face Awards entry. So for this, I wanted to incorporate a little bit of everything. So we have some special effects, we have some beauty, and we have some body painting. I hope you enjoy it. So to begin with, you want to take your pre-made elf ears, and you just want to apply a little bit of latex to the inside of them. The latex will act as your adhesive. Next, you want to carefully place the ear tip on top of your ear, smoothing down the edges so you don't get any wrinkles. Next, you want to take a little bit of latex on a sponge and bridge the gap between the latex appliance and your skin. Okay, onto the makeup. You can really use whatever eye primer floats your boat. I like to use white for the most part because I use such bright colours. Taking the light sparkly orange colour. I'm putting this in my inner corners. Next I'm taking a darker, brighter orange and putting it all over the rest of my eyelid. As you can see, I'm using a lot of circular motions to form my eyeshadow here. I'm extending the bright orange quite far out of my eye. To start with, I'm just going in with some green concealer and making sure to blend this out really nicely. Next I'm just going in with normal concealer. Now I'm just taking my foundation blending brush to just sort of blend and mould everything into my skin. Taking my foundation, I'm just dotting it all over the bottom half of my face. Then I'm going to go in with big circular motions to again blend and mould everything into my skin. Next you want to take your leftover foundation and pop it on top of your ears. Also making sure to take the foundation down your neck and onto your chest a little. Then you want to go in and powder the living daylights out of everything. Taking a dark blue sparkly eyeshadow, I'm running this along the entire of my bottom lash line. Next, taking your big fluffy brush with your bright orange on it, you just want to make sure that your orange and your dark blue seamlessly meet. Taking that dark blue eyeshadow again, you want to pop it in the curve of where your brow bone and your nose bone meet. Start small and make it bigger as you go. You don't want to accidentally make it too large. Now you just want to line your top and bottom lash line and add mascara. With your contour, you just want to follow your natural bone structure. And ideally, what will look best as well is if you don't go past the point on your face where your nose hits. I'm just taking a nice white highlighter and putting it all over the top of my cheekbones. Now for the blush, I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks and blending it upwards to blend them with my highlight and my contour. Back to the ears, dark blue body paint. I'm going to pop a bit of that on the tip and blend it seamlessly downwards. This is a body painting technique called double dipped flowers. For this what you want to do is you want to load up your brush with one colour and then load up just the tip with another colour. Then what you can see me doing is I place the tip on my skin and then just push the brush straight down creating a petal shape. For these flowers I'm using a large round pointed brush. Once you've made one petal you just want to move your brush around in a circular motion and create the rest of the petals. Next I'm just taking the orange paint just by itself on a smaller brush and popping a little bit of texture inside the flowers. Now I'm taking a dark grey liquid lipstick and just popping that all over my lips how you normally would. On your cupid's bow you want to take your liquid lipstick up towards your nose. Then I'm going to take the liquid lipstick brush without a lot of product on it and just start sort of feathering out the edges. Thank you so much for watching my Nick's Face Awards entry. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to keep creating more content for you guys. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff and I'll see you next time. Bye! Why did I do the whoosh?